What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I want to give you guys an update here. I I worked on buttoning up some little things. Um I got the all the brake lines put on, the calipers bled. Um I just did that off camera. I need to get this thing done. I have about six weeks until the uh actually my own event I'm hosting, so six weeks until that. So this thing I gotta get it wrapped up. Um today I'm gonna be getting the steering. We got all them parts in. So here we have our uh DLM for the drag link aluminum tie rod and all of our heim joints so yeah this thing will finally be ready to steer um i got an order in for drive shafts from uh, adam's drive shaft so they're a really good company and uh really great customer support so if you're looking for drive shafts hit up them but uh, i'll show you what these how these brake lines turned out the abs lines and all that stuff i also got the uh, lockout hubs put in i got them cleaned up and painted i'd like to do some worn hubs eventually but for now i just cleaned the factory ones up yeah you can see the brake lines abs lines are all ran everything's torqued I think the only thing I have left is to do the steering, sway bar end links, and I think that's it on the front. Here's the rear all buttoned up. All the lines are ran, everything should be good to go. ABS sensors are plugged in. Yeah, this is super exciting. So let's get these uh, steering boxes cracked open, start fitting them up, uh, get the Heim joints bolted into the high steer arms so we can get a measure on the ZOM. And, uh, Get some steering built. Okay, so with the tie rod, I went with inch and three quarter because I already have an inch and three quarter clamp for my hydro assist from the old Jeep, the two door. And so here's the Han joints for that. And also the locking nuts and the spacers for it. Which is nice. I actually didn't even know Barnes offered this kit. And I'm hoping it works. It should. But uh, I was going to order Himes from them, which, as you can see, I got a pack of them anyway. And then measure for my tie rod and have uh, wide open designs make it and send it to me. But then I seen this on... Barnes website. It's a 405 plus Super Duty 60 Heim joint steering tie rod. It's for it's for their high steer arms, but I think it's gonna be close enough that it should it should work for the Artec high steer arm. So we're gonna find out. Yeah, I'm gonna get up. Stuff's blowing away. There's ghosts in here. Okay, I'm gonna get all this set up and uh, and then we'll worry about the drag link. But it'd be nice to get both tires uh, attached to each other. I'm gonna. And it sees the crap out of these once I make sure that it's going to work. Or maybe I'll just do it now because I'm going to make it work even if it doesn't. Gloves? I hate anesthes. Come out looking like the Tin Man. All you want to do is keep your stuff from sticking. Oh, yeah. It's the good stuff. If you live in uh, states that use salt on the roads, you should buy this stuff by the gallon. I've had really good luck with it. I am not being shy with this either. I remember. Righty loosey, lefty tighty. Okay, there's one side configured. Still got some room to. Oh, wrong way. Still got some room to tighten it. Oh, yeah. Look at that anise just spooging out. 11 chances out of 10. I'll be complaining about that later when it's all over me. There's a, a spot on the uh, other side for a clamp. Don't help me on this side much. I want to get these so that there's the same amount of thread 
on both sides. So whenever I bolt it in and start adjusting it, um, it's even on both sides. So right now, obviously, you see I have them screwed in the whole way. Uh, and as long as they're even, I'll bolt it in, and I'll be able to just adjust the tie rod itself, and they'll be even on each side. Okay, so this is ready to be uh, put in the Jeep. Ran into a snag already, and for whatever reason, maybe I'm dumb, I don't know, but I thought I had everything ordered right. But I'll show you what's going on here. This is going to be the drag link. Here's the high safety misalignment. This is going on the... Uh, steering box side this side's good to go this bolt will go here i gotta get a longer bolt for that then you come to this side this side's good for the drive link and this side's good but for whatever reason from barnes these are both 7a time joints 7 8 to three quarter inch bolt which i can show you it doesn't fit okay which i got the spacers which you need to make this inch and five eighths mounting surface so that don't make sense right so i got these that came with this tie rod kit this is two inch and obviously these himes i i don't know they're different sizes i don't i don't know why I, i'm gonna try to call barnes and figure out why but it doesn't make sense to me i looked back on the website what i ordered everything's seven eighths to a three quarter inch bolt so i don't know why they would be different i have the spaces i need if they were right but they are not right so i'm gonna call them and try to get that figured out in the meantime this took this took a couple weeks to get barnes is behind for whatever reason they don't answer phone calls so my dad actually runs a lathe i'm gonna take these to him get him to mill these down three sixteenths on each side that way i can get all this mounted up and it should be should be good to run but I'm going to try to figure out why they're different in the meantime. Can't get a hold of Barnes, good figure. Now, I'd, I'd love to support them. I think they're a great company, but it's hard whenever you can't get a hold of them and you need to ask questions. And you try for about, about two hours. I've probably called like three times just trying to get a hold of them. But my dad said he can mow these down. So he said come up about, about two hours. So I'm going to do some other things until then. Um, figured out with my caliper. So these are about 9 sixteenths. So those on both sides of the heim comes to a two inch mounting surface. I need inch and five eighths. So these need milled down to three eighths or to uh, 0.375. So my dad's gonna mill them down for me. I found the correct ones I need. Um, I ordered them, but who knows how long it's gonna be. This stuff from Barnes took like a month. So I'm going to go ahead. I just started messing with these sway bar end links. Here's the old crusty ones and the new ones from Metal Cloak. I'm going to get them put on just so I can do some stuff until my father's ready. So I'm going to get them bolted on quick. All right, so I made it back. Uh, got my dad to mill these down. Turned out great. So now I have everything to put the tie rod on. I um, also picked up the bolts I need for the rear bump stops. Lights in the way. And uh, what else did I get? The other steering bolt I need for the drag link side. Or, yeah, the... Uh, pitman arm side of the drag link so i'm gonna get the steering bolted in which is exciting this thing will be able to turn on its own hopefully hopefully uh doesn't go right when i turn left but if it does we'll just we'll have to work with what we got now we got this thing of beauty Don't drop it and mess it up. Somebody put anesthes all over this thing. A little baby hammer. Okay, one side is on. Okay, that's bottom sides in. Now I'll put a fun one, I guess. Maybe. This will go back in here like it's supposed to.
Figured she'd be a little tight after all that. Okay, I'm gonna snug up the other side. Then we can get this drag link figured out, see if this is even gonna work. Forgot about needing to draw out this uh, pitman arm to three quarters. I'm gonna do that quick. All right, now that, that messes over, I'm gonna clean up this. All the parts and pieces are on now. I'm gonna get something strapped to these rotors, you know, something real crooked so I can set the toe. And then once the toe's set, I can get it lined up with the rear it's straight. I can measure from my drag link and we can get it cut. Hopefully, this works out with them both being in the front holes. That's what's gonna work the best. As you can see, it's straight on. And if I put it in the back hole, it's not going to be. So hopefully it works out. I don't have any binding issues, but that's what we're here for, I guess. That's what happens when you uh, build custom stuff. So let's keep on trucking. Okay, so now I'm ready to... I need to get the toe set. That way I can pull a string, get the wheel straight before I build this drag link. That way I know I have enough adjustment to keep the steering wheel straight and everything. And uh, I've been looking around the shop. This is the closest thing I can find. It's going to have to work. I got to... A hoe and a shovel, but they're straight and they're two foot long. So uh, we're going to strap these to the hub assemblies and we're going to make it work. Do -do -do -do. Nothing to see here besides engine hooity. Which one should we use first, the hoe or the shovel? Probably the hoe. Oh man, it's going to be perfect. Glad somebody bought my son these for Easter. Listen, it's just got to be close, okay? If I can get it close and steering built and driving, I'll take it to a shop. I ain't scared of that. It's the only thing my vehicles go to shops for. Oh, man. That's mint. On the other side. Okay, there's one side. Here's the other. I need to slide the old shovel up a little bit so I can measure on the, the shaft instead of that collar i'm gonna do that real quick i got trouble figured out it's crazy that the hoe was easier to handle but uh so now i can get the uh measurements here 68 7 the front is only at 68 and 3 16 That's great. About oh, perfect there. Seems like sixty-eight and five sixteenths is the uh, the magic number. So I'm gonna get the jam nuts tightened down, and then our toes set. Then we just need to get it, <laughs> make sure it's straight. The steering wheel straight so we can measure for our drag link. What's up guys? I'm back one in for dinner. So uh, I got everything buttoned up on the front enough to put the tires on. So I'm going to throw the tires on. That way I can pull a string and make sure the tires are aimed pretty straight. I mean, they don't got to be perfect because the drag link's obviously going to have adjustments. So I'm just going to throw them on because they don't need to be off anymore. Throw the tires on, get it back on its own weight. And then I can make sure they're pointed pretty straight and the steering wheel straight. And then I can measure for my drag link. And then I can just pop it off, weld it, and put it back on without having to take the tires back off. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, get them thrown on quick. Okay, so back on our own weight. Um, 
I think I'm ready to measure for this drag leg, which is exciting. So I'm gonna, I'll set the camera up here. I'm gonna measure for this and yeah, get it cut, get these heim joints taken back off and get it welded up. It's like 35 and an eighth is gonna be the number. Looks so good. For now, 35 and three fifths or something like that. Okay, I wanna check and see how square this was cut or if one side's good, one side isn't to know which side I wanna cut from. That side's perfect. This side's probably a sixteenth off, so I want to cut this end off. So flip it back over. Most of these come with a little uh, scrib, or scribe, or marker. So we want thirty-five and an eight. And actually, my uh, little brother taught me this. You want to try to cut straight on a round two, put a zip tie around it. It pretty much straightens itself. Just going to keep rotating it and checking it, make sure we're right where we want to be. Okay, that's set, 35 and an eighth. I am going to go measure the Jeep one more time just to, you know, measure once, cut three times or whatever they say. All right, let's get this thing cut, huh? See the zip tie trick. All good or what? Some cleaning up with the flop disc and then make sure our uh, tube inserts fit. Okay, now to make sure our uh, bungs fit. Like a glove. Yeah, I got the welder set up here. Let's get this thing burning in. Great, but it ain't bad for somebody who doesn't weld all the time. A couple of spots I might fill in. Ain't no shame in my game. Oh, I got this thing cleaned up. I hit it with some, uh, some of this metallic, uh, the old mailbox paint. I wanted something to match the tie rod half decent, but this thing turned out good. And yes, I, uh, flap wheeled the ends and made it look pretty but yeah tomorrow we'll be able to uh get this thing put in and this unit will be steering on its own i'm excited all right guys let's get this thing on huh Oh yeah, go grab the anises. Now we tighten it till the steering wheel is straight. Looks 
really close. I'd say it's close enough to drive it and see. Look at that. It looks so good. So it's perfectly in line with the track bar, which is what we were shooting for. All kinds of misalignment. Oh yeah. All right. That's gonna be a wrap on today's video. Um, steering's done, it steers. I just tested it out, so it's good to go there. Uh, we are so close to getting this thing done. Um, next video, drive shafts should be here, so we're gonna be bolting them in. Hopefully taking this thing on the maiden voyage. How exciting is that? Well, exciting for me, that's for dang sure. And hopefully exciting for some of you too. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, um, don't forget to subscribe, like, share with a friend. Turn on notifications if you want to get notified whenever I do something to uh, this unit over here. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.